past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember, you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Q's show here, and now, whenever we last left off with this series, Izuku Midoriya and Robert Reynolds, the Sentry, they have started their fight. Now, Midoriya and Robert this is all going a part of the plan. And Onslaught is watching this. Midoriya has murdered hundreds already in the fight against Robert Reynolds. And he's even set off a nuclear bomb by splitting a single atom. Now, Midoriya is limiting casualties as much as he can and he is still showing a measure of restraint. And Robert, he's well aware of this. These two are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one another. Midori, he does have the strength advantage. And Robert is aware of this. However, they're just supposed to make it look good. Midori and Robert have been over this plan multiple times. And they trust one another. Robert was concerned there for a minute, but Midoriya, he's still in control. The Void is just another voice in the back of his head. Now, with that being said, we do cut to Robert Reynolds, as Midoriya has kicked him in the face, and he was sent barreling down into the ground, as he skits across the street and slides into cars. Before he does get up, I'm going to bring his hands up as Midoriya he does crash into him. The moment he does do this, Robert does go to bring his hands down and just keep his feet steady. As Midori is pushing Robert backwards into a building, the two smashing through it as Robert he is able to grab down onto Midoriya's back. And he's then able to pull him up and over himself before bringing his hands up and going to break Midori's back over his knee. Now, Robert did do this. The more that it happened, he did break Midori's back over his knee and then just grab him by his back, before spinning around and tossing him straight towards the sky, as he goes rocketing out after him. Now, Midori, he does feel his back regenerate. And the moment this does happen, Midori, he does go spinning to his right as Robert tried to punch directly into his body. But away whenever he spun to the right, he did look down and go to smash Robert as hard as he can, as blood was thrown out of his mouth. Now, Robert, he did then look back at Midoriya, as Midoriya, he threw a right hook right into his nose. Now, Robert is sent flying backwards, and Midoriya goes chasing after him. As the world's heroes are watching, now, Midori and Robert, they are going blow for blow and tossing each other around. And Midori, he even does take on the Void's form once more. As the two are looking at one another. Now, Robert goes flying in, and so does Midori. As the two, they have a battle of strength to see who is superior. Now, Midori and Robert are both standing there. And people are looking at this, as both of them begin to project energy from their hands. And it's just cutting apart everything else around them. And these two, they just keep going at it. As Midori and Robert's hands are both interlocked, Robert goes to throw a knee up into Midori's ribs. And Midori, he would cough up blood at this happening. As Midori, he would do the exact same thing. And he would even try to throw his elbow into Robert's face. Now, as this does happen, 
but where he even does have a tendril come out of his back, as it does go up his arm and wraps around to Robert's. Midoriya then ripping off the sentry's arm. As a sentry, he does go backing away and screaming out in pain. Now, Midoriya would just drop the arm, as the sentry does look up and just get angry, as he throws a giant blast at Midoriya. Now, Robert Reynolds actually embracing his anger. He took Midoriya by surprise. He blasted him with the full force of that energy, which broke open Midoriya's ribcage, as he was sent barreling away into the distance, Robert still following power in that direction, as he does actually go to fall down onto one knee, and he does go to bring his hand up to go grab his other arm. Now, people would watch as Robert picks up his severed arm and goes to put it back onto where the elbow was as he does pour energy through his wrist, or through the decapitated part of his arm, and he does quickly begin to heal. Now, you do actually then have Midoriya, who he does get off of where he is, and taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out, as he does just think about it. Okay, this looks good. I can't believe it. I'm enjoying myself again. Mm. But then again... Mm. No. I can't do that. Now. Roya. He does go to move forwards. And he does find that his power... It feels like it's leaving him. But Roya did just now start to notice it. He feels weaker. Shit. I'm calming down, aren't I? It wasn't part of the plan, Reynolds. Now, Midoriya does look up, as he does see Robert, with his hands still pouring with energy. And Midoriya, he does just go to bring up his hands, as he does ball them in a fist, as he does just begin to levitate up into the air, before him and Robert do rush towards one another. And both of them hit each other directly in the face, not even bothering to dodge, as they just begin to start having a punching contest of might, over and over, a right hook and a left hook. Midoriya throws a solid right hook, before trying to bring up a knee and smash it into Robert's gut. As Robert is actually able to punch Midoriya solidly across the face, getting uppercut in, and then he does go to bring his hand up towards the back of Midoriya's neck, and smash down or smashing Midoriya's face with his knee. Robert doing that before just smashing him in the face over and over and over again. As Midoriya, he did create a tendril and try to do the same trick. Now, Robert would actually gra wrap his arm around the tendril and grab it, severing it completely as he does then punch Midoriya across the face with that arm. Before, Midoriya goes barreling down into the dirt. Now, the sentry does then do one thing. He takes a tendril and does hop onto Midoriya's back, and he does just start to wrap it around Midoriya's throat, as he does just start to begin to just squeeze tightly, as he does just bring his foot up and smash onto the back of Midoriya's skull, as people are watching. Now, Midoriya, yeah, he did not expect that part, as he does do one thing. He goes phasing through it as he does go to up backwards behind the sentry. Him going to bring his hand forwards and go directly for the sentry's heart. Now, the sentry, he does just turn around and fly backwards, being able to dodge Midoriya as he does go to bring his own hand up and blast away at him. Now, Midoriya already knows the effects the sentry's energy has on him when he's in this form as he does go rocketing up higher towards the sky. And he does just start to think. Okay. What can we do now? What can we do now? As he does have an idea. Midoriya going to bring his hands up 
as he just begins to focus on all the matter that's in the air around him. As he does start to create giant plates of lead and let them fall towards the ground. Now, what are we doing this? He is beginning to just cause a lot of devastation. All around the city, these giant plates of lead are falling. And there even is the sentry, when Midway he did take a few of them and go to throw them in his direction. Him easily punching through a few of them as Midway he did shift and turn them into vibranium. As one smashes right into the sentry's gut. And one, the sentry did punch. The moment he did punch it, he hurt his knuckle. And Midway even did throw a vibranium plate into his back. Now, this was quite intense. As Midoriya, he did then just shift all of it into carbonanium, wondering if that can turn off his healing factor, wondering if that can give him a legit way to beat him for a minute. Now, the sentry punches straight through all this, and he would just tell Midoriya that that won't work. As Midoriya, he does see the look in Robert's eyes. He's seen that look, look of a warrior. And it's time that this is all put to an end. The little game that they do play. But we're telling Robert that it's all or nothing now. And that if he's going to fight, then he's going to fight like this is the last day on Earth. Because for him, it is. Now. Midoriya, his entire body starts to coat in energy, as he does feel it. What remains of the void, he can feel it calling to Robert, as the two do go rushing towards one another. Now, Robert, he is ready. This is all part of the plan. And Midoriya, him and Robert do encounter one another. As they start to just punch each other in the face, energy pouring and being blasted away in multiple directions, cutting through the city's skyline, and tearing apart buildings that should have been miles away. As people, they do try to report on everything, with the shockwaves being thrown around at every punch, and well, how unstable and unsafe everything is, no one can even get close. No one can even tell who is the upper hand. Since it's nothing but just darkness and light. If you're looking at it from a well different point of view, you'd think that the sun was rising in the in one direction and it was setting in the other one. As Midoya and Robert, they're going punch for punch at this point. Midoya uppercutting up the uppercutting Robert as Robert does throw a hook into Midoya's face. And the two they even do get into another power struggle, as Midoriya and Robert are just trying to dominate one another. Midoriya holding the, the, the superior advantage, as he's able to actually get Robert to bend down towards his knees. And he actually does look down at the man, telling him that this is all finally over, and he's going to end this. Now, Robert does just look at Midoriya, as he does stare at him seriously. And Midoriya, he does just look down at Robert, as he does force his arms forwards, breaking the sentries. Now, the moment that does happen, Robert, he screams, as his arms will go limp. And Midoriya, he does just bring up his leg and kick him directly in the chest as he does just start to beat the shit out of the sentry. Now, Midoriya just starts to throw punch after punch across his face, over and over. The sentry isn't even trying to defend, and the world believes that he's lost, as there's so much blood on the ground around them both. It's hard to believe it's just from one person. As Midoriya, he sends a punch that dislocates the sentry's jaw and blows it clean off before throwing another right hook directly into his face. As Midoriya, he does watch as the sentry's eye gets pulled out of the socket, and he does then throw another left hook. Now, 
After it is all said and done, you do have Midoriya, who does just stand there huffing and puffing, as he does stare at Robert. <sighs> so, that's what finally did it, didn't it? <sighs> <sighs> Roya going to bring his hand up and behind him, going to find his helmet. You know, Robert, I'll give you one thing. I didn't expect that match to be so fun. Now, but the way he does then have his helmet in his hand, as he does look at it for a second, he specifically made it out of vibranium just for a battle like this. And Midoriya, he does look back at the sentry, asking if he does have any final words. Now, the sentry does look up, and he does then try to shoot Midoriya with a blast from his eyes. Midoriya easily being able to cover that one eye with a single hand, before walking behind the sentry, and putting him into a chokehold. Now, the world does then watch as Midoriya he does quickly make a movement with his arms, and he does let go of the sentry as he goes falling forwards. Now, you do have Onslaught, who the moment that did happen, Midoriya, he put the helmet on his head. And Onslaught, he went to search for the sentry's mind, and he found nothing. All that's laying in that well, puddle of blood is a corpse. Now, Onslaught, his plan can finally be put into place. The remaining heroes that are left, they can't stop him. He's already taken on Franklin Richards. So, it's best to just see what him and this young man can finally do. Now, you do have part two of the plan, where Rogue, she was already flying into the city, and the moment Midoriya snapped his neck, Rogue, she has come flying up. Now, the moment Rogue does appear, Charles, he does go to look back at the screen, and Midoriya, he would turn to face her, as she does look at Midoriya before going to walk over and going to reach down and grab Robert. Now, Onslaught does watch as Rogue, she does hold Robert by his hand and she does try to use his power, but nothing happens. Roy just telling her that it's a waste of time and she does turn to look back at Midoriya. He's so fucked up. The bruises, the scratches, the marks, everything that hasn't healed yet. Her walking over and pulling up the helmet as she does pull him into a kiss. Now, Midori, he does just wrap his arms around her and hold her as the new shopper would come in along with multiple other Avengers. Now, Midoriya, he does turn and look at this, as he does go to bring his hand up and step in front of Rogue. Now, this is one of her onslaught he would contact Rogue, informing her that if she is on their side, tell Midoriya to come back. They won't be a problem. Now, she would look at Midoriya and give him a small wink. And Midoriya... He would just look at her for a second, before looking back at the Avengers, and telling all of them to go save civilians, as he would bring back his hand and throw it out forwards. As Midoriya, he creates large, large pieces of lead, and sends them flying in multiple different directions. The Avengers all either breaking off or going to rush Midoriya, to which he does something just blast away at all of them. Now. The blast won't be enough to kill. However, it's enough to send somebody flying and incapacitate them. Along with leave some very bad injuries. Possibly life-threatening. 
Now, Roy would quickly turn after grabbing Rogue and rocket away as he heads back to Xavier. Now, we do have back at the Hellfire Club. For Midoriya and Rogue, they do walk in. And Midoriya, he's already shapeshifting his clothes. And he's telling Rogue that he does need to find a shower. Especially after everything that's just happened. Now, the moment these two do walk in, you do actually have the club owner, the bartender, and, <coughs> and Charles. Who? He does congratulate Midoriya on murdering the golden man. As Midoriya would ask if there's a shower nearby. Mina pointing out that she can take him over there. Now, she does just walk down the hall and point out that in that room right there, there's a shower. Midoriya can use it. Now, Midoriya, he would go to walk over that way. And he does actually go to pull off his shirt as he does so. Now, with that being said, you actually have Rogue and Mystique. Mystique, she saw the battle. And she would ask Rogue, how has she been doing? Hi, Mom. So you do remember me. I assumed that he took away your memories. Ha. Ah, I sealed the more violent ones, especially after what you've done to her. That wasn't your call. Now, Rogue would just say that she's not here to argue with any of them. As she is going to walk past her mother. And head over to where Midoriya is currently. Now, Xavier would try to tell her to just give Midoriya some time. He needs to recuperate. The moment he got into her head, she turned her skin into organic metal. And continued walking. As Mystique, she was caught off guard by that. That's Colossus' mutation. That shouldn't be possible, he's been dead forever. Now, with that being said, Rogue would join Midoriya. And I do believe that I can leave this part off of here. Now, some feedback would be nice. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the fight, especially because I just cut it in half. Now, let me, let me know how you guys thought I did with that fight. Because these guys are literally two supermen with deus ex machina powers. Even holding back, these guys can probably level cities with the greatest of ease. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that.